everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Christy versus Kitchen. Today I wanted to do something epic. I wanted to do something pink and I wanted to do something big. And so what I decided to do today is do a copycat version of Lard Lad's Homer Simpson pink giant donut. And one year for my birthday, Eric took me to Universal Studios and we got to experience their epic giant donut. I remember taking the very first bite and just being like, so I'm going to be working with dough and frying and all that good stuff. I've never made a homemade donut before, so I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. It should be epic, it should be pink, it should be fun. So what we're gonna need for today's bake, we're gonna need flour and sugar and milk and powdered sugar and active dry yeast and salt and egg and all the good things to make a donut. If it does turn out, it is going to be legendary. So on your mark, get set, let's bake. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we are going to mix the dry ingredients and we are going to mix the wet ingredients. So we need one cup of flour, one package of dry yeast. Should probably put an apron on. I've got a feeling this is gonna get messy. Should always wear protection. One teaspoon of salt. A quarter cup of sugar. Now we're gonna mix the wet ingredients. Quarter cup of milk. Quarter cup of water. Now we're just gonna heat the milk in the water for two minutes in the microwave. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna just transfer the dry ingredients in here and then we are going to mix them together. We will be adding the rest of the flour, so that's two cups in there after we put the wet ingredients in there. Ooh, that is hot and steamy. Shout out to you, Nick. Now it says to beat this on a medium speed for about four minutes. All right, guys, it's official. I need to invest in the dough cook. You guys keep telling me every week and I'm just, I just don't listen. All right, we have reached four minutes. I'm just going to add an egg. Just beat it. Okay, now we are going to slowly add the rest of the flour. Pray for her. Did I do a quarter cup of milk or a half cup of milk? I was definitely supposed to do a half cup of milk. Did I do a half cup of milk? Quarter cup of milk. Okay, we're definitely missing a quarter cup of milk. So I'm honestly, I'm just gonna like put a quarter cup in the microwave, heat it up. I'm gonna throw it in there. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can save the bake. You know what, guys? I, I'm just gonna knead this by hand. I think it's, I think it's gonna knead it now. <sighs> F. Let me know down below. Would you start over? We're supposed to coat it in oil and let it rest and rise. So I think I may do that and start on a new dough. And maybe, maybe they'll bake, maybe they'll come out the same. What do you think? Do you think they'll come out the same? this over here and we're supposed to let that rest and rise until it's ripe which I had to google that and it means if you were to stick two fingers into it it should stay that way it shouldn't bounce back so we'll just I don't know I'll test it in like 15 minutes I don't know we'll see and while that's resting and rising I'm gonna start on the new dough <gasps> I forgot to put the oil in it too Yeah, we're definitely redoing this. I really fudged this one up. I was so confused why it was asking for oil. I just assumed it was... Okay, let me double check that. Half cup of milk, quarter cup of water, quarter cup of vegetable oil. Combine and heat on high for two minutes. I can't believe it. I'm really glad I caught that. We were missing the freaking oil. <gasps> oh. oh, that looks totally different. What a difference that makes when you follow the instructions. 
I can't even explain to you how, how different it looks. I'm not even going to expect this other dough to behave like it's supposed to behave, so. Okay, and because we don't have a dough hook, I need to go on top of that, I am going to hand knead the rest of this. How many of you have ever made homemade donuts and what was your experience like? So far, this is going great. All right, well, let's see if this is gonna test how it's supposed to. All right, I say we just roll with it, see what happens. Okay, now we are just gonna cover this with a damp towel for an hour and just let it rise, so. I don't know. <laughs> it's like a hockey puck. <laughs> Not kidding. It's like dense, whoop, heavy, just like a hockey puck. All right, let's get working on this one. All right, it has been just over an hour and it looks like it's risen some. Um, it's almost like this one I don't feel like rose as well as this one. We're gonna let that continue to rise. That one's got a few more minutes on it. So what we're gonna do now is heat up the oil and we're going to, we're gonna, we're gonna deep fry it. So here we go. So we got those fried. What's interesting is that the one that I thought I screwed up honestly looks better than the one that's supposed to be right, but I think the texture in the one that's supposed to be right is going to be right versus the other one. I guess we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and make the frosting. All we need is some powdered sugar, some milk, and some bread food coloring. The donuts, they look like donuts. Um, oh, we'll see how they taste. So I'm just gonna go ahead and frost these and put some sprinkles on them. Donut number two. All right, one friggin' mess later. We have two donuts. The donut we screwed up I screwed up. Looks better than the other one, but the other one's bake looks like it's gonna taste better. I'll be really curious to see who the actual winner is a little bit later, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set these aside, and I'll see you guys later today. So now we're gonna go ahead and taste test these in the whole thing. I want to see if Eric can tell which one is the right bake and which one is the not right bake. So I'm really excited to get started. All right, babe, let's do this. I feel like I'm the godfather. So what do you think? Okay, first impressions. Um, they definitely um, are a little bit thinner than the Homer donuts that I have eaten in my life. I think that donuts are, I'm a taste person when it comes to donuts. You know what, I'm just gonna take a bite. So before you do, I had to make this twice because the first time I forgot to put in the right amount of milk and I totally forgot to put oil in one of the donuts. So one of them is right, one of them is not right. So I'm curious if you're gonna be able to tell. Which one, which one do you think is right? Which one do you think is not right? This one is the right one and this one is not the right one. Okay. It's good. Does it taste like a donut? Like texture, everything like that? No. No, it doesn't? <laughs> it doesn't? What does it taste like? Does it just taste like bread? Yeah. Isn't donuts like bread though? Yeah, but um, it, I mean, it looks like, it looks like a donut. Mmm. Oh, that is not good. Remember when I said it felt like a hockey puck? 
That tastes like a hockey puck. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Okay. <laughs> You're trying to be <laughs> that. That is not good, man. <laughs> Go ahead and try this one. Okay. Better? Okay, the oil's important. <laughs> that is a donut. Is it? That okay, is cool. Donut. Cool, cool, cool. Like, it actually tastes like a donut texture and everything. It's better. No, that that is that is for sure. That is a donut right there. It's still pretty dense. It's almost like a cake donut. That that's the vibe that I got when I first saw it. That's a cake donut. Okay, right that's there. actually not okay. Oil is important. Don't forget that step. This is absolutely terrible. But it looked better. Yeah, it did. It's funny how this is your first time making donuts though, right? Yeah, my very first time. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's not. Horrible, but it'll probably be that bite's actually really good. It'll probably be a long time before I make donuts again. Yeah, the oil's very, very important. Yeah, it is very, very important. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in again to another episode on Christy versus Kitchen. Make sure to like the video if you actually liked it. Comment below with what you'd like to see next. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>